Chrysura Mello is a new high-impact auto rifle added to Destiny 2 as part of Season of the Lost, and this one is a slow-firing auto rifle, but one that packs a serious punch. Well, today I'm going to show you the weapon, the stats, the god rolls to chase for PvE and PvP, plus how to get Chrysura Mello in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, Chrysura Mello is a legendary energy auto rifle with a high impact frame, meaning it's slow firing and it deals high damage. This weapon is more accurate when stationary and when you're aiming down sights. So looking at the stats, we've got 33 for impact, 76 for range, 22 for stability, 37 for handling, 37 for reload speed. It's a 360 rounds per minute auto rifle with 32 in the magazine. So this one is really similar to something like False Promises, another high impact auto rifle. Well next up, let's have a look at the Chrysura Mellow God Rolls to chase for PvE and PvP. So for PvE, Arrowhead Break, Akurai's Rounds, Outlaw and Dragonfly would be a decent roll. So Arrowhead Break greatly controls recoil and increases handling speed, and Akurai's Rounds increases range. Outlaw decreased reload time after a precision kill, and Dragonfly will create elemental explosions on precision kills too, so it works really well with Outlaw. For PvP, Chambered Compensator, Appended Mag, Dynamic Sway Reduction and Multi-Kill Clip would be a decent option. So Chamber Compensator increases stability, controls recoil and slightly decreases handling speed, whereas Appended Mag gives you more room in the magazine. Dynamic Sway Reduction improves accuracy and stability when holding down the trigger, and Multi-Kill Clip gives you bonus damage after reloading, depending on the number of rapid kills you made. Well, Chrysura Mello can also roll some new perks this season, including Encore, so Precision Final Rounds grant stacking range bonus to the weapon, so non-precision final blows remove the stacks but grant bonus accuracy and stability when range stacks have been removed. We've got harmony as well, so final blows with other weapons improve the damage and performance of the weapon for a short duration. And ensemble, so it improves the handling and reload speed when allies are nearby. The so Bungie doing a great job with the new perks, so as well as the god rolls to chase, I'm looking forward to getting some of these new perks and seeing what they can do. Well my role of Chrysura Mello came with Heating Up and Demolitionist, I'm pretty happy with that, as that is quite a decent PvE role. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to get Chrysura Mellow in Destiny 2. So to get this one, it is a random drop from the seasonal activity, Astral Alignment. So you can get this to drop from the end of the activity in the chests, in the blind well, or you can focus Umbral Engrams in the helm. This one is also available on the Season Pass at rank 45 for all players, so it is a little bit down to luck as to when you're going to be able to get this weapon. For me, I went to the Umbral Decoder and focused a few engrams to get it. But do try out the new seasonal activity, Astral Alignment, although be aware, after the free taster, you do need the Season Pass for Season of the Lost to enjoy the Astral Alignment activity. Well, that is a bit about the weapon, its stats, the god rolls to chase, and how to get it. But next up, let's have a look at the lore on the weapon. So the story has been really, really good. And we are building up to the Witch Queen, so I am carefully combing over every weapon and piece of armour for interesting lore details, and the Chrysora Mellow is no different. So we've got Chrysora Mellow lore. If you hear it, remove your helmet and face the closest Corsair. They will know what must be done. That one comes from Queen Mara Sov. There is a saying amongst con artists, half the fun is showing the mark which cup hid the ball before you take their money. Savathun understands. In her crystalline prison, she reflects on all her surreptitious winks and little nods, the risks taken and the boundaries pushed to keep herself entertained and her worm fed. Before. Cyrus stumbles as he walks through the last city. Beneath his robe, something erupts in a frenzy of motion. He pauses to compose himself and then walks on, trailing careless splatters of black fluid. Before. Osiris watches the Crucible match unfold. He doesn't cheer for either opponent. When a ghost appears to revive the defeated warrior, Osiris leans forward in careful study. When Saint places a hand on his forearm, Osiris holds him possibly still, just to see what the other man will do. Before. Osiris sits by the campfire as Crow and the Guardian share a drink. Osiris watches them with rapt attention. Crow is laughing. He passes the bottle, and Osiris' hands numb puzzles at it. His mouth hangs a half-smile before he takes a long drink, 
slaking a bone-deep thirst. Before, Osiris takes a shaky step forward. The high celebrant howls in the catacombs, and he hears his sister's voice buried in its roar. He feels his heart beating in his chest and is so enraptured by the sensation that he forgets to be frightened. Before, Savathun, physical form, twisting instar, emerges from the shadows and crawls over the shattered pieces of a ghost. She reaches towards the ruined man. Before, Savathun squeezes through the calcified channels of ascended energy and manifests within the dangling Amkara skull. The man standing below the netting senses her appearance. His light flares as he draws his weapon with impossible speed. She only has a moment. She pushes her face down through the robes, opens her mouth and sings. The man stops and slowly holsters his weapon. He turns, crosses his arms and forgets. She melts awkwardly back into the skull as best she can, through a tangle of spindly elbows, licorice black still juts from its sockets, and she turns her attention to her quarry across the gap and hums her song softly to mask herself. Soon, the man below begins to hum along with her. So really, really interesting stuff there, and this is Savathun's interaction with Lord Shax. So you can hear there Savathun turning her attention to Zavala across the way, where in the line where she says she turns her attention to a quarry across the gap, and that must mean Zavala. So really, really interesting that Lord Shax's light sent Savathun in that Amkara skull, and it's good to get a little bit more insight about Savathun skulking around the last city. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of the Chrysora Mellow and let me know what roles you got. And that is it for this guide for how to get the Chrysora Mellow in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIFG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.